<sighs> Our story begins in a faraway place where there once lived a lonesome giant named Wilfred. Wilfred was humongous and hairy. And the thing that he wanted most of all in the whole wide world was a friend. One day, Wilfred came across a little town with little people in it. These little people were very unusual. They didn't have a single hair on their heads, not even the ladies. In this odd little town, there were little bald children playing. Wilfred wanted to join them. See, Wilfred is right there, and there's all the children playing. Look at that, it's a leaf. <laughs> so he did. And they all ran away. <laughs> all except one brave little boy who said to the big hairy giant, Sit! And Wilfred did. Hmm, said the boy. Stand on one foot. And Wilfred did. Play golf, and Wilfred did. Play the ukulele, and Wilfred did. Do my math homework, and Wilfred did. Three plus four equals fish. Nine minus five is 13 sixteenths. Uh, two times two is uh, two two. Reenact the Battle of Waterloo, and Wilfred did. See, he's got his hand in his shirt, just like Napoleon. The little boy and the big hairy giant had so much fun that they decided Wilfred would come back the very next day. Meanwhile, the little bald townspeople watched as the big hairy giant lumbered away. They wanted hair too. And with winter coming fast, they wanted it soon. So the little bald people in the little bald town came up with a big and nasty idea. Look at those big scissors. When Wilfred came back the next day, a few of the little bald people stopped him and told him that big hairy monsters were not allowed in their little bald town. If he wanted to visit, he'd have to stop being big or to stop being hairy. Since Wilfred couldn't stop being big, that's very hard to do, the only thing left for him to do was to stop being hairy. So the little bald people said he should let them cut off his hair. And Wilfred did. Uh-oh. Without his hair, poor Wilfred was too cold to play with the little boy. Instead, the big hairless giant went back to his cave. There he has a fire. There's his golf hat. Winter came early and the snow piled up on the ground while the little boy waited day after day for the big hairy giant to return. But Wilfred did not come back. The little boy couldn't understand why. Until one afternoon, trudging back into town, he was met with a big hairy surprise. Some of the little bald people in his little bald town were not bald anymore. They had wigs. <laughs> when the boy asked where they had gotten all that hair, they replied, just from some big hairy monster. <laughs> oh no! Without his hair, the giant would freeze. The little boy had to help him. He's running away. There, that guy's got hair too, and that little girl has braids. He ran back home where he made giant mittens out of his blankets. See, he's cutting them out of his whole blanket on his bed. Then the boy went to find Wilfred. He has the big mittens, he's looking. That night a blizzard rolled in with great blustery gusts and tossed the boy about like a little bald snowflake. Ah! And carried away his giant mittens. In the face of disaster and the danger of frostbite, the boy tried to stay calm. The snow fell and the winds blew through the night. And the next morning the town awoke, minus one tiny member. The boy was missing. The town sent out a search committee. They looked and they looked and they looked for the lost little boy. Until at last they found him safe and warm because in the night when the boy was lost, he had shouted, please save me. And Wilfred had. See, 
The little townspeople felt sorry this creature wasn't just a big hairy monster. He was a hero, and he needed their help. They're taking off their wigs. They covered Wilfred in blankets and made a big fire to help him get warm. It's a big fire for them. It's not very big for him, but he has a cup of cocoa, and they have a big pile of hair there. The kid is playing in it. They're going to take all this hair. What are they going to do with it? Then they took all their wigs and sewed them back together into a great big hairy suit for Wilfred to wear. Look at that. He's putting it on. And that's how Wilfred came to have a zipper and a smile. <laughs> and a very best friend. Uh-huh.